to fail to post to tweet. I don't care about the tweet. I don't care about the tweet. I'm just glad that I'm live. Okay, I, I literally just tried streaming, and the pro I should have disconnected my VPN before. I'm not joking, you guys. If you... If you guys only knew. If you guys only knew. Oh, it's so aggravating. So anyway, um, what had happened? Hey, Eric, it's good to see you. I'm actually checking my chat real quick. Hey, OX2 and another TV viewer, it's good to see you guys. Um, if you guys only knew, this is so aggravating. Um, the last couple of minutes, I have just been like, it's been like hammer time. I have been working my butt off, trying to get everything ready. I, um... I don't know what I was thinking. I actually got off a little bit early today and um, came home and I told uh, Joseph, my other co-pilot besides um, Hoppy here, that I felt like uh, doing some building in Fallout 4 on my personal save. Well, I had forgotten that I, I <clears throat> excuse me, I had to stream today until about 11.30ish. So I was like, I'm just going to set my alarm for one o'clock. That way that'll give me time to make sure that I'm showered, shaved, and dressed in my fallout attire. And I'll have my drink ready to go. Maybe some snacks if I'm so inclined. Sorry, I was actually reaching for the can behind it because the whole thing wouldn't fit in there. I actually have like two cans in there, uh, or actually one and a half. But I'm trying to, remember, I'm trying to get rid of these cans. So I'm going to finish that first before I start drinking out of the bottle. I got my snacks over here. Um, but when I was telling Joseph I was setting my alarm for one, I actually set it for 1.30. <laughs> so we were actually in the middle of a conversation while I was playing on my personal save, not my stream save. Um, and I just, I felt tingles of dread. For some reason in my mind, it was way past time for my alarm to go off. I was, in my mind, I was thinking it was gonna go off at one o'clock. And so I was like, oh my God, where's my phone? And so I pulled up my phone and it said like 1.28. And I was like, oh my God, my alarm didn't go off. It was supposed to go off at one. And then as I was freaking out and, and saving everything so I could exit out, then I remembered, oh no, I said it for 1.30, which was really stupid. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, um. Uh, welcome to the stream, you guys. Oh, plus I've been tearing up and down the stairs. Um, I didn't have time to shave, so I'm, I just made sure I had my attire. Made sure I got hoppy this time, because I want to say on my last stream, he totally sat that one out. Um, let me pull out my table and put my, my little keyboard. I'm still using the wireless keyboard and mouse. Um, when I get my new setup going... Um, I'm going to actually switch back to my wired keyboard and mouse. I'm sorry, my eyes are itching like crazy. As soon as we got home, or as soon as I got home from work, I got home about nine o'clock, and I told Jess, I was like, let's go for a walk. You know, it's still early enough, let's go for a walk. So we went for a walk, and now I'm paying for it. Oh, the pollen was ridiculous. Okay, so if you guys don't remember what had happened, what had happened was, um, see, we have finished the quest, and let me go to my, uh, map. We had finished the quest for, um, the lady robot here, and she gave us, I think, a handful of caps, basically. And now, um, and then we went to Sanctuary, and we told Preston about that. And then what had happened was I went to go put some supplies in the little the little uh, desk thing that you build to um, assign a mayor or settler leader or whatever to the town. And the game had froze up. Yes, the game had froze up completely. So... We ended up having to, uh, task manager close that bad boy and end the stream that way. Which, luckily, we were kind of, I, I want to say we were close to two hours, um, and we were able to, um, I think I was still able to end things 
nicely on Streamlabs or Twitch, but the game, yeah, it froze up. So, um, luckily I had saved right when I finished the quest at, at Grey Garden, so really we're not very far behind. We're like maybe five minutes behind where we were when the game crashed. So we're going to um, fast travel to Sanctuary, turn the quest in again, and then I will build the desk, but I will not mess with it just on the off chance that it decides to mess up. Um, I would like to assign one of my, um, one of my settlers to the said desk so it will take over and start building up Sanctuary how it needs to be built. Um, it's not going to be Preston because I always put Preston in charge of the castle, which to me just makes sense. You know, it's to me, see, that's the thing. Like, I don't understand why, um, Preston will say, oh, we need to retake the castle. And then you go retake the castle and then he goes back to sanctuary. Yes, technically I'm in charge of the Minutemen, but he's my right hand man, basically. And I don't have time to just sit there at the castle. Hey, Robbie, it's good to see you, man. Thank you for saying hello. I was, I was actually, you know what? I was singing your praises to Pink yesterday. I spoke very highly of you. Told him how you're so awesome and you always uh, check in when you can. When um, you have time to hop in stream and, and hang out. Trash can Carla. Does she have Carla. any money on her? Because I need to make some caps. Okay. I've got a few minutes to browse. I'll take a look. Sure. Always happy to make a sale. She got 20 caps on her, y'all. 20 caps. Of course, I think of you as a friend. Well, I'm glad. I think of you as a friend. I think of you as family, really. Um, I was telling Pink yesterday in, in private chats that um, my, my guildies, um, by extension, are my family. Quick little, quick little story. Quick little story. I promise you know I love a tangent. But, um, back when, um, this is actually before I joined, uh, the, the gamers community on, um, World of Warcraft, I was in another guild called Casually Insane. I've, I've, I've shown it off on, on stream. What you doing, boy? <laughs> Why do you have to say it in all caps like that, Eric? You scared me. Um, but yeah, um, I'm telling a story, Eric. That's what I'm doing. Um, anyway, my, my late husband had passed away, and I was going to sort of... Oh, he was talking to me. Let's see what he has to say. It's so weird. I used my own name. Um, you could say that. I made a few new friends. I can't believe I didn't do this already. A few new friends. Oh, I cannot take him with me if I want. Just say the word. Um, uh, I'd like to trade some items, and then uh, I'm not going to actually trade any items. I'm just going to get out of the conversation. I don't like taking companions with me. I will see if I have a bowler hat. I do have a bowler hat. <laughs> and he can equip that. He's got a little bowler on his head. Isn't that cute? Oh, wait. This is a dynamic flag that can be selected from a city planner's desk to change all settlement flags to match. It is also buildable under the decorations menu. Oh, and it's got a little bowler hat on it. That's so cute. It's the Codsworth flag. That's so cute. And apparently he's happy. That's so cute. So anyway, um, let me finish my story before I go talk to him because we'll be locked in another conversation. And if I'm not mistaken, that Brahmin literally just popped into existence. Um, so anyway, uh, my, my, when aren't you telling a story, uh, when I'm asleep or pooping. So there, um, but yeah, my late husband had passed away and I was not feeling World of Warcraft or anything. Um, but I had, I actually had to log in because at the time I was a guild master and I had some things that I had to handle with the guild, just, just administrative things. And then I was going to log back out and I told everybody when I logged in, I was like, I'm only in for a couple of minutes. Cause I'd already been offline for like two weeks straight and I hadn't had a chance to tell everybody. And I had told some close personal friends, I was like, please don't, you know, tell anybody if, if anyone finds out, I want it to become for me, that sort of thing. So I, you know, when I locked in, okay, Lorraine, God, that's cute. 
Um, but, uh, I, you know, I told everyone my situation because everyone was logged in at that time. I was like, I had a quick little thing and everyone's like, well, we're going to go run Anixia. And I did not want to go. I was like, guys, I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mindset. I don't want to run anything. They're like, we'll carry you. You just hang out in the back while we do all the work. And I was like, no, I don't want to go. And they just kept on and kept on and kept on. And they weren't being ugly. They were just kind of like trying to get me out of my, my, my grief for a little bit. And so I was like, all right, fine, but let me log on a different tune. So I actually logged on to my, my tune that I made specifically, um, like as, uh, uh, it was the last character I made when my husband was alive, I believe. And, and he actually helped me build it, that sort of thing. And it's named after him. And so I was like, I'm going to go on this character and they're like, okay, come on. So we went and it dropped all the main loot, like the, the stuff that at the time rarely ever dropped and so it all dropped and everyone rolled for it and i was like i'm not gonna roll for it you guys roll and they're like no you actually did help out because i did i helped them they needed help dropping anixia and so i rolled and i actually won the the the, the good stuff and so i i was like oh that was a lucky fluke and then every time i've been on that character i've had the most amazing luck and it, in my mind it's like chris is with me when i'm on that tune so yeah, th that but that I appreciated my my extended family getting me out of my head for a little bit and helping me like not just only really have the best time because I wasn't in a good mood I was in a very very bad place, but um, I did appreciate them caring enough to stop whatever they were doing to include me and make me feel like I had support and there was many times that I was crying Hey Paul, <laughs> it's good to see you too Paul. Uh, but there was many times that, like, my my guildies proved that they were more family than some of my real family. And you guys and gamers have done that as well. You guys have helped me through lots of stuff. So, I, I you know, I really love when you guys hop in here or whenever um, I get a chance to talk to you guys, either in Discord or in game. Like, it just makes my day. You guys, I'm not joking. Like, you guys crack me up. You make me laugh. You you help me through things, you answer questions. Um, I can't remember how many times I have been dealing with something either in game or even in real life and thought to myself, I can't wait to get home and either a tell my guildies about this or ask them a question about it. Like, so I'm telling you, you guys have been everything for me. All right, let's talk to Preston. I found now don't tell him I was being nice. Even better. I guess I never thought of robots being minute men. But why not? If they're willing, I guess we can use them. Since you're here, we've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all ourselves. We leveled! I think it's time to retake the castle. See, now we're going to retake the castle. We the Minutemen HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio system. Eric, are you just waking up, or you have you been up for a while? Uh, playing Minecraft, and, and by playing Minecraft, I mean literally sitting in one spot and digging a hole. It sounds like just what we need right now. <laughs> I thought you'd like the idea. So, should I have an assault force? It just seems shady because the whole time Preston's talking to me, he's literally like looking around and acting like nothing, nothing to see here. So, like, it just feels like it's shady, even though it's not. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. Okay, so, <clears throat> the way this is gonna work is, um, Preston is gonna go running off to the castle. Which makes him not actively in Minecraft. I've been up since six. You've been getting up real early lately. Good for you, dude. Preston is no longer going to be my problem until I choose for him to be my problem. So no more of those, another settlement needs your help quests. He's out of my hair. That's the whole reason for accepting the quest. Now we're not going to do it right now. We're actually going to, um, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to build that darn desk real quick. It takes all of a second. Let me go to my, uh, Sim Settlements thing, furniture. We're going to put the desk down. And apparently... 
Oh, those numbers went down. I wonder why my food production went down. And I have 10 people in seven beds. What in the world? All right, so I'm thinking about assigning um, Sturges as the... Um, The uh the the leader. See now it's it's finishing other things. I don't know what it's doing, but we're going to activate this and we're going to assign a city leader. Apparently Preston Garvey is the only one. Why well, can't wait? Well that sucks. I don't want to use Preston Garvey as the leader. Alright, so we can't assign him. Uh, Sturgis as a leader. I believe there's a mod that allows you to do that, but I don't think it's been updated for Sim Settlements 2. So, we're just not going to assign anyone. In the meantime, we are going to turn off that little light of mine. And you know what? I, I'm adulting not i know i trust me i'm right there with you um I'm trying to think sunday is skyrim day in the afternoon of course in the morning i have a plan to dig out my closet in here my this is my um in in you know my game room closet it doesn't have clothes and it. it has like Old, not old, but appliances we only use occasionally, our Christmas stuff, um, and then like I've got like a bunch of extraneous uh, electronics components and stuff in there. I just want to like, yes, yeah, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Um, I just want to um, go through it and get it. I'm trying to spine down so I can talk to you guys. I just want to get it more manageable. I've got several boxes of like extra cable wires and ethernet wires and uh cable extenders and key extra cube excuse me extra keyboards and whatnot i just want to go through it and purge a little bit of it so i can get rid of some of it and then um i'm actually that same day going to when i um before i start in the closet i'm gonna actually disconnect my computer and everything and take it outside and one of the front panels has actually been pushed in by accident just from moving it I just need to push it. There's nothing back behind that panel, which is why I haven't messed with it. It's not hurting anything. But I want to push it back where it needs to be. And then I'm going to, you know, use compressed air to get all the, the dirt and grime and dust out of there. And, and just check and see how it looks in there. Because um, I may be upgrading a component or two in there. I haven't made up my mind yet. But anyway, um, so that's my, my goal for Sunday. But the reason push it, yeah, you are just you are in you are just full of sass today. Um, but the reason why I was saying that is, uh, Eric, I was gonna get I was gonna see if you wanted to call me on Discord Sunday. That's me, sass it. Yes, that is you. Um, I wanna see if I can actually scrap this car real quick. I cannot scrap this car. I don't like that. So anyway, um, but yeah, I was going to call you and tell you, I don't know why my numbers keep going up and then down, then up and then down, up and then down. Anyway, um, I was just going to uh, tell you a couple of things that had happened. See, what had happened was, let me see real, something real quick. Let me go to my data, which is my quests. If I have a hammer, wait for settlers to finish constructing jobs in Sanctuary. There's that. Okay. So, and I was just about to say, I know the dog is still here. He by himself, too, let me tell you. Um, I'm listening to Push It Now, I guess. Oh, d hey, do you remember? Okay, um, Eric, do you remember um, back in the 80s or late 80s, early 90s, a like a like a singer on the radio named Nina Cherry, and she had a song named uh, called Buffalo Stance. Do you remember that? Continue going this way, y'all. Eric is gonna be the bane of my existence today. We're j I'm calling it right now. Okay, so uh, that's that's like 
one of Joseph's all-time favorite songs, right? He loves that song. He, he'll be in the kitchen cooking or something, and he'll just start singing Buffalo Stance. And it's, it's cute, I guess. Um, so, I was getting off work the other day, and I... Oh, there's a uh, little bit of loot up there. Let's go up there. How do I get up there? I'm trying to figure out how do I get up there. There's something up there. I think I have to do it via jumping. Okay. Um, anyway, I, I cranked up the car, and Buffalo's Dance was on the radio. And I was like, oh, well, that's funny. So, I, I didn't jump like I was supposed to. I uh, called Joseph and told him about it. And then um, he just had the song in his head, right? Well, how about... Um, apparently... And I'll, I'll pick that in a second. Apparently, Robin, the artist Robin, has gotten with uh, Nina Cherry because they're both Swedish um, singers. And I want to say one other person. And they literally just did a remake of Buffalo Stance, as well as an entire album that she put out that just came out this past month. I'm so excited. We, we can't wait to watch it. And they put up a um, Carefully Fishing. Oh, wow. I shouldn't show that on stream. I'm so sorry. Um, I mean, it wasn't quite inappropriate, but it was close. Um, but yeah, um, they put a music video out for it, too, like an actual video. I love Robin. I mean, Nina Cherry's okay, but I love Robin. I'm a big Robin fan. The album that she did with Royksop was, in my opinion, one of the best. All-Star Adventure? What is this? Okay, I picked up the magazine, but it didn't give me, like, any kind of ethics. What's that about? Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? We got some medics, you guys. And there's something in here. Madam Jeels. Uh, we got a little glitch here. Anyway, um, but yeah, we're both excited to watch the music video. We were supposed to watch it yesterday, and we didn't get a chance to. Oh, what is this? Nightingale Medical Cash. Who's Nightingale? I wonder who Nightingale is. Anyway, um, don't get fresh with me. Um, I like, um... Is that guy back here? Where did he go? The guy that runs this place. I think his name is John or something. He has the same... Uh, nearly an identical face as my own character. It's weird. We have the same scar and everything. It's weird. Let's check out the terminal. That's it. Logo one? Log one. Log one. I can't read, apparently. Well, this place sure seems nice enough. I only came here looking for more ASAMs, but reckon this old store might make a nice base of operations. Hell, it's even got a working terminal. Beats trying to hook a keyboard up to my pit boy. Oh, I never thought about that. Not to mention there's a big old box of shipping records here. A few packages were sent out only days before the bombs fell. Maybe I can track some of them down. I'm not going to read the, all three logs. I'm just not. But um, remember, guys, the ASAMs are what you use to build um, new settlement plots. I'm still kind of learning that whole system. Ooh, dead body. I don't want his outfit. It's not very pretty anyway. Robbie, you still with me? What do we got down here? I think that's a merchant. I think that's a merchant. I could be wrong, but I think that's a merchant down here. Right now, we're kind of at the exploratory stage because Preston Garvey's gone. There's some bodies over there. Oh, yeah, that's Doc Anderson. Okay, yeah, she's cool. Okay. Apparently, he's a lifesaver. She's a lifesaver. 
I'm not going to take these people's clothes, although they are good outfits. I have a mod that allows me to loot um, undamaged vehicles. I actually had it turned off, but I turned it on today for my other playthrough, and then I just left it on because I was like, I kind of like it. We were soul to soul, back to life. Is that back to life? Back to real. I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, I remember that. What are you doing, um, Robbie? What are you doing? Ooh, some blood leaf. A dead body. What are we doing with a dead body here? Make sure nothing's around that can attack me. It's just a dead scavenger. Well, we'll take the pipe rifle. It's not worth a lot. Her clothes are actually worth more. Wait, what was that? What was that? Oh, those are synths. Oh, oh. That's why there's dead scavengers. See the other bodies? Oh! That place. Oh, okay. What y'all eating? Not Sims. Since. Oh, you know what? If I ever did like a, a synth playthrough, I'd make my character and then name them Sim. Because they are like very similar. They're like basically a simulation of life. I'm just looting everything. Sorry about it. Alright. And there is a rat roach there. I got it without really looking. Without really seeing it. Where's, okay, where's this Red roach that's headed my way. Oh, I see you. Bye. I mean, I, I, I got some rib sandwiches from work. Oh, that sounds good. It's not the same thing as what Joseph likes. He likes the McRib. <sighs> to me, that's just gross. Oh. Oh, that thing literally just exploded in the goo. And there's a bathtub in here. I don't know why the bathtub's there. Ooh, hello. Glowing fungus. Hello. Ooh. Ooh, we got some goodies. Some of that good good. Here we go. Oh, I'm in a bad place. I'm in a bad place. That's Bedford. That is Bedford train station. It's a it's a not good place to be. Because it's full of feral ghouls. And them things are fast like a freak. I kid you not. You're a gross boomer. How am I gross? I'm not the one that's exploding into goo. Oh, we got some Brahmin here. Hello, Brahmin. That's a... Uh, you said the sandwich was gross. Oh, yeah, I'm not a fan of it. I mean, I've had it, and I would eat it. It's not, like, the grossest thing in the world. I'm just not a fan of it. I don't eat a lot of barbecue, first of all. I just saw, ooh, I see stuff. I see stuff. These are bad, bad bugs. I don't know why my camera decided to do all that. That's a dead bloat fly. You've never had the McRib? I would say if I was going to eat it, I basically it's just like a like a, a hoagie style bun. And then it's got like the little McRib pretend meat stuff on it. Um, it's it's not the worst, but it's not and then they of course put barbecue sauce on it. It's just processed meat in the shape of like ribs, basically. Um that's me, the double quarter pounder with cheese. That's, that is, oh yes, yes. With spirit fingers. 
I love the double quarter pounder with cheese. But um, if I eat the McRib, I, I feel like it would be better if they put cheese on that and actually put mayonnaise on the bun. It would just make it like uh, like better in my opinion. That being said, if I had to order, I would get the double quarter pounder with cheese. That's, yes, you are speaking my language. Oh, I know there's like a car over here with something in it. I almost played some more Fallout 76, but I really wanted to get back to our Fallout 4 save. I'm not I'm not, not ever going to play Fallout 76. I think what I might do is every other stream, like I'll alternate between the two of them, so you guys can get a, a, a taste or feel for both of the games. They're fun. Should I kill this dog? He's just playing with his little teddy bear. Oh no, he put his teddy bear away. Now he's now he's just a wild mongrel who needs to be put down. Bye. All dogs go to heaven. You're no exception. Can I open this door? I can't. I'll have to go in from the other direction. That dog's been tunneling. Look at that. He's been tunneling. Is there another one on this side? I'm making sure there's nothing else over here that can attack me before I open it. Oh, it's locked. Oh. Mm. Not very well, might I add. I'm not usually one to just chug this, but I'm trying to get rid of the can. This is another mod that allows you to loot all the wooden crates in the game as well as all those um well these here aren't lootable for some reason but they also it also allows you to loot from the vault tech containers that are in like vaults or in um you know those those big silver kind of bubble shaped containers that you find inside buildings or in vaults just some Rando. Oh, every time I, I say the word rando, I think of... Oh, I can't say that. I can't say that. I can't reference um, a franchise that I'm not associated with or sponsored by. Uh, let's just say that... Um, let's go to lunch after your game play. We were separated at birth. Yes! Yes, I do believe we were. <clears throat> um, for those who are watching, Eric here is one of my closest friends, and I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have him in my life. He is so fun, so funny, and so fresh and so clean, clean. Um, I, that was that part was just a joke. I don't know if he showered today, but um, I oh hello, there's an old man there. Hello? Hello? He's just looking at me. Hello, creepy old man. I'm just here for the magazine. There we go. Permanently gain better prices when buying from a vendor. Well, that would be handy if if uh, Trash Can Carla had more than 20 caps! There's a little bit of loot here. All right. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, he's one of the recruitable settlers. Okay. You looking for a new place to settle? Could be. Why? Do you know it's somewhere good? Okay, yes. All right, I'm going to send him to... I've already been to Starlight Drive-In. See, I couldn't even remember if I've been here or not. Um... The closest place... I know, right? So you know who Leroy Jenkins is. You just got a couple more um, cool points for that one. I guess I'll send him to Starlight um, Drive-In. I think because he's one of the recruitable settlers, I believe he can actually be made um, a leader. I could be wrong. Thanks. See you there in a day or two. It just it depends on whether or not the um, the mods that I have installed allow for that. 
Oh, oh, this is a this is a nursing home apparently, and uh, everyone who was here is since passed on for an eternal sleep. I'm so excited. I'm literally like, I, I'm not trying to be mean or ugly, but I'm actually. <sighs> this is gonna sound bad. I'm actually excited for ending the stream today because um um. When uh, I get done with my stream today, I'll be that much closer to uh, eating tonight's supper. And I, I very, I very seldom, very rarely do I eat pork. Um, it's not a religious thing or anything. I just don't eat a lot of pork because it tends to make my blood pressure rise. But I've taken my, um, my medicine that I can take and I've been very very careful with my stress levels and my blood pressure and all that so Joseph is gonna fry some pork chops and we're gonna have fried pork chops with uh, llama beans and something else I forget I'm really excited baby llama beans those are my absolute favorite beans to eat we're very country I'm fine with that so basically, we're in this um, this old nursing home that's just apparently everyone died in. This must have been like the chem lockup where they couldn't get to the chemicals. And this guy here, he was in a wheelchair and, and couldn't manage the door, so he died in here. And this one died on the couch. The, they're just a bunch of dead bodies. There's the bathrooms. Here's the kitchen. Oh, there's still food in the kitchen. Hello. These poor people. And this is, I guess it's like their little indoor gardening area. I never really understood why this was open air like this. I never understood that. just looking this would be a good place for a little mini settlement or something wait what is I thought I saw something and that's it we're done wait is there anything in here nope nothing in there okay we are done design okay and now I mean all this little open space outside this would be a good place for a little mini settlement. Pork chops, I'm on my way over. Yeah, I know, right? I don't eat, like I said, I don't eat pork very often. Matter of fact, um, oh, 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 that's awful. Look, she came out here to sit with her dead husband and then died. That's awful, or dead wife, who knows? No judgment here. I'm not assuming anyone's gender. Um, but, um, Eric, do you remember, um, like, uh, what, two months ago when I was keeping migraines constantly because I was taking the wrong kind of ibuprofen? You know what triggered that originally? I ate a small, very small, like maybe that big, but entire bag of pork skins. And, I mean, it just, it made my blood pressure go sky high. Sky high. Um, because of the sodium. And then, of course, apparently I was taking a sodium-based headache medicine which did nothing but exacerbate the situation oh, I'm gonna this is gonna sound mean the way I'm gonna say this but I'm I'm gonna bust this guy's melon just bye friend I know there's more than one of them where are you at where are you at Oh, I see you now. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? She gone. Bye. But yeah, um, so I just, I really, I, I don't hardly ever eat pork anymore because of that. It was, um, not just because I'd already stopped pretty much eating pork back then. Um, but you know, every once in a while, about, I only eat pork about maybe three or four times a year now. I'm not joking, like, and, and honestly, I probably should, 
that little dude is trying to spray and pray me away. Ooh. He's not hitting me. Now he's really not hitting me because I can't see him. But yeah, um, oh, hello. Wait, wait. I thought I saw something. Oh, wait, is he below me? <gasps> oh, hello. He can't get to me. Ha ha ha. Bye. But, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't touch board. Um, and I take a, um, I take like Nexium and something. Um, look at all the cans. But yeah, I'm excited for our pork chops tonight. And, um, the, uh, the llama beans too. I love baby llamas. I do. I love baby llamas. They're my favorite being in the world. And this is going to sound weird. This is going to sound weird. I hear gunfire. But, um, after I eat all the beans in the pot, <laughs> I will pour the juice in a cup and drink it like it's soup. I love baby llamas and the juice there's oh just chef's kiss love it love it love it i've spent this whole stream so far just running around killing and looting and talking about pork chops and llama beans i mean it could be worse sorry i had an itch See, these are the little vault tech containers that are usually everywhere and like i said the mod allows me to loot just random um crafting mats from them i wonder if there's anything in this water oh there's tar berries in the water there, i mean there are tar berries in the pool that's kind of like the slog where you go to the slog and they're, they're using the pool as a tar berry farm that's kind of cool Uh, I believe there's a bad guy in here. Nope, nope, nope. A dead guy holding a mini nuke. We're gonna close that real quick. Oh, what's in here? I saw something glowing. Oh, um, if you're wondering why these guys are glowing like this, I have a mod called Loop Detector. I believe that's what it's called. Yes, it's called Loot Detector, and it tracks anything that's lootable that you haven't already looted. Um, and depending on the color, that will communicate to you the kind of loot that you'll come across. Anything that's green over there like that has like, um, like caps usually in it. Anything that's... Um, that glows red means it's, it's a locked container and you have to unlock it. Anything that is yellow is just negligible items, really, like just random stuff. Oh, there are. I got it, I got it, I got it. Woo! I knew that was. That's a master lock. I can't unlock that. There's another one over here, too, somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. There's another one of those. Um. Another one of those little um, mines, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Maybe there was only one. I thought there was more than that. Okay, so this is the apartment complex. Let's go in there and see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be really good. I'm trying not to eat the junk food I have because I really, really want to um enjoy my dinner which let's be real let's be it's a you know let's be honest i'm gonna enjoy it regardless oh god i can't 
can't see. Well, you know what? Here I am freaking out. I've got an E and B. Actually, you know what? Let me uh, let me pause real quick first. So I can wait. Why is my? Why did it bring up my mod configuration menu? I don't understand that. Okay, so I need to. It's not in the effects. It's under color correction. Yeah, my brightness is too too dim. 1.5. There's that. And then um, let's go to environment. Uh, maybe it's not environment. Shadow, water, procedural, sun, sky. It's got to be under environment. And we're going to go um, with ignore what I just do. Interior. We'll do interior day and night at 1.5. No, I don't know what's going on in the back right here, but it's because I have start workshop mode. It needs to be F1. I don't know why it's act, acting stupid. And see, that didn't do anything. That really did nothing. You saw how dark it is? Oh, hello. <gasps> There's a mine there. Ooh. Okay, so we're coming up on something here. Oh, that's a lot of light. Oh, that's a lot of light. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There's a door here. Oh, look at all the bones. Oh, someone had a bad day. Give me the junk food. Yeah, I know, right? There's someone right here. Oh, there's someone on the on the on the couch in front of them. All right, so this is what we gonna do, people. We gonna kill this guy by shooting him in the arm, and then kill that guy by shooting him in the stomach. Oh man, I blew him out of the water. Come on, keep shooting. Got him. Okay. Oh. Man, they really ragdolled. I, I may have turned off my ragdoll physics mod that uh, that keeps people from ragdolling like that, but it's all good. Ooh, we got a coffee pot, some Abraxo cleaner. I hope they weren't drinking that Abraxo. Ooh, I mean, it'll keep you cleaned out, but probably a little too much. Okay, so let's go back out into the Commonwealth. Save the bones and use them for stock when you make soup. Those were human bones, you freak! Ugh! Ugh, he's... Guys, Eric is like, save the bones and use them for stock when you make soup. That was human bones! Ugh! <laughs> human stock. <laughs> that takes on a whole... A whole new term. Oh my god, ugh. How dare you? How dare you? Team too much. Just saying, team too much, too much. Okay, so we're just, we're on the roof. And there's nothing else here, so we're gonna hop down real quick. And there's a wall right there. Let's go see. And there's a door right there. Ooh. We're gonna go get some drip. We're not gonna say that. <coughs> We're going to go to the pharmacy and get some pharmaceuticals. My sneak meter's not pinging at all, so I'm going to turn my light on. What am I running over? Oh, a person. That's what I'm running over. I'll take your umbrella, dude. Wait. 
why is all this, if this place, this is what I don't understand. I'm just gonna say this. This is what I don't understand. If this place is closed up with the doors shut, why is all this garbage in here like this? Like it's just been coming in through the walls? That makes no sense. Oh, a stem pack. Oh, and a walking cane. I'll take it. You know, that actually makes sense that there would be a walking cane in a pharmacy. Because, you know, you can't go to like a CVS or a Walgreens or Rite Aid. They always have a display of canes for the elderly people that come and get their prescriptions filled. Oh, he's got some, uh, what you got? What you got, dude? Radix. Some more Radix. That'll come in handy. We're living in an, an, uh, an atomic apocalyptic wasteland. Subway token? We don't even have a subway here in, in uh, Lexington. I almost said Concord. We're not in Concord. We're in Lexington. Oh, what's she got? She's shooting up with some medics. We just gonna call it insulin. We gonna say insulin and call it a day. Nothing else in here, apparently. Or the disabled, not just the elderly. True, truesy true. We've already been streaming for nearly an hour and I've already um, been in basically like three or four different locations. We're just, we're moving today, guys. We are moving and shaking. Oh wait, there's a building here that I can go in. Hello. It says stop. Oh, it really does say stop. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that a tripwire? <gasps> it's a tripwire. It's a tripwire. I can't. Hold on. Let's move this. Well, dang it. Ah! All I had to do was that. And I set off this bomb. No, I didn't set that bomb off. I set a bomb off. I don't know which bomb I set off. Was there one on the ceiling? What in the world? Guys, my nose is really itching. I'm so sorry. Every time I sit down in this chair, oh, it says keep out. Well, it's too late, dude. What are you going to do about it? You're already dead. I'm just looking around. This place is a mess. It really is a mess. Oh, I thought that was a real head for a second there. I was like, what in the world? Who is watching me from the floor? <gasps> oh, I'm, oh, I kicked it. Oh, that scared me. Ah! This guy rigged a bomb with a bunch of silverware. Can you believe that? That's ingenious. Like if I was on a limited budget, but I had the knowledge and I wanted to, uh, like booby trap my house so nobody could like take anything. I would do that. I would build a bomb like that, that had like, um, uh, like forks and knives or something in it. I just saw something. I saw something. Oh wait, there's a, there's a hatch. I've been through here a million times. I never knew there was a hatch here. You guys, I'm not joking. I never knew there was a hatch here. There's a cooking stove with a spatula and cutting board and a frying pan. TV tray, K-fungus, K-fungus. What else we got? K-fungus, brain fungus, drinking glass. So whoever lived in that house was like a doomsday guy. Like they had, um, there's a teddy bear and a toy tank, <gasps> a toy pack. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Oh, look at the tree, that's cute. Let's look in the garbage can see if there's... Oh, there is. There's garbage in there. So he's been down here a while. He's probably dead, guys. I'm just saying. He's probably dead. My snake meter's not pinging at all. But you know, you never know what you're going to find. <gasps> guys, I've never been in here before. I've been through that house several times. I'm not joking. I've been through this house several times. I never knew there was a hatch. I just went to pick up the cardboard box because I saw something blue underneath. I thought it was like, um, like just a, a, a box that you open to get like some kind of loot out of. I had no idea there was a hatch here. You guys have no idea how happy this makes me to find something new. 
This guy collected skulls. What is he, a predator? Suicide Bomber's Guide to Survival. What? Nice. I can now build explosives in the Mad Bomber's Workshop. I always wondered why that was in my build menu. Guy built himself his own desk out of two filing cabinets and a slab of wood. I'm gonna stay kind of snuck down just in case there is someone or something in here. This guy, okay, he's got a cap stash. Only 14. But if you look, he's got the fixings for a bunch more of these little bombs. Look, he's really been busy. That's why he's got all this cleaner and antiseptic and whatnot. He's making bombs. Vodka bottles for Molotov cop tip. Oh, more of these little lunchbox bombs. This guy, he's planning. He's planning ahead. He's got a, um... Oh, this is the Mad Bomber's Workshop. Okay. Okay, I can make explosives here. He slept literally right around the corner from a place where he made explosives. How nuts is this guy? This is really cool. I'll take his comfy pillow. Look at his little pictures. I'm trying to see what I'm looking at. He's got a picture of one of those little gnome apocalypse gnomes on a wheelchair, and then the other one is this one. I want to say that's in. I don't know what he's holding, but I want to say that's a picture of. That is. That's Fallout New Vegas behind him. That's kind of cool. And what is this? That's probably something from Fallout 3. I bet you that's what these are Easter eggs. I'm hoping that's not urine or blood right there next to the bed. I'm just saying. This is so cool. I'm not joking. Like, I'm so, I'm so impressed. I've played this game for more years than I care to admit, honestly. And I never knew this was here. That's so cool. <sighs> you could tell he like, dug this out himself and turned it into a bunker. That's so cool. Easter eggs. Yeah. Easter's over, but you can still find eggs. I'm just looking at the time. I'm trying to, uh, really work on my time management, which is why I'm actually moving faster than I normally do. I'm trying to get better about um, getting more content into my streams. Um, because it seems like sometimes I really do move around a lot better and get more done, but then there are other times when I'm like, I've been streaming for two hours and I've gotten one thing done. So I'm trying to do a better job of like getting more done. It was just a wall they built right there. That's weird. There's nothing else there but just a wall. Okay, then. Oh, I thought I saw something move. Chef hat. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. What you got in here, dude? A yellow trench coat, checkered shirt, and slacks. What was he? What, what was he? What was he doing? And nothing, wait, yeah, nothing, whole bunch of nothing. Get in there. Oh, silver table knife in there. In the middle of a damn um, bus station, we had a silver table knife. What do we got going on here? This place is a spawn location for something always happening. Oh, those are Minutemen. Those are the good guys. Nothing's attacking? Wow, that's a first. I'm not joking, that's an actual first. You guys like the music? This That's a mod, that's a mod. Um, I believe it's called Faded Glory and it's like a, uh, a, a new take on the post-apocalyptic soundtrack. 
Hello. Hi. Excuse me. Nothing's getting by me, sir. Well, alrighty then. Usually something is always attacking this location. We lose at least one Minuteman every time. That's kind of cool. Nothing's attacking. Okay. Get it, guys. Look at y'all. I'm going to take everything of value, so you ain't got to worry about um, guarding an empty location. What do we got in here? Some stem pack, right away, purified water. What else we got? You guys know I can't. Um... <gasps> oh, hello. Some goodies right there. Oh, hello. You okay? He looks Native American. Doesn't he? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being like, I'm not trying to like racially profile him, but he looks Native American. Look at his profile. He looks. Dude, just teleported through my body. Oh, I felt it. I felt it. Oh, that was weird. That was weird. That was weird. All right. What we got going on here? Let me turn off my light. Oh wait, I see a a dead body. Oh, I'm not worried about that rad stack though. I don't see anything else. Why is there a dead body over here? Raider's note. Wait, 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 what? What? Raider's note? Let's, well, I'll have to look at it through my pit boy. All right, so let's go to miscellaneous and go to the Raider's note. Search for caps in Beantown Brewery. Where's the note that says, oh, don't tell me my game froze up. Guys, guys. Okay, there it goes. You guys, I was about to I was about to get mad because we were doing good. We were doing good. Word is that the gang up at Bingtown Brewery had a big score recently. If we can hit them hard enough, we can make off with a nice haul of caps. Okay. While we're while we're in our pit boy, let's level up real quick. Okay. So rifleman. I'm gonna pick one in that. Oh, excuse me. And I've already got locksmith twice, hacker once, gun nut twice, scrapper once. What is that? That's sneak. Yeah, the, I'm going to pick that one because it's not about being harder to detect. It's the no longer triggering enemy minds that I want. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. It said requirements not met. Why? Oh, I have to be level 12. Well, I'm close. So when we hit level 12, I'll just pick it then. Okay. Um, hmm. I guess we'll go with armorer for now. I hear gunfire. And I hear a um, a radio playing, so I'm gonna have to kill that radio, like turn it off, because if I don't, I could get a copyright claim, and I don't want one. I thought I had an actual um, mod that was making them not work, but apparently not. I, so I'm going to have to. Uh... Oh, hello. Ooh, a sniper rifle. Oh, let's let's see if it does more damage than what I'm currently using. I'm using no, that's grenades. All right, I'm using a ported powerful pipe bolt action sniper sniper rifle. So there's that. And the one I got was a hardened one, so it does 52 damage with a fire rate of two. So let's find the hardened sniper rifle. It does 47 with a fire rate of three. So it's slightly less damage, but it's got more fire rate, it means it shoots quicker. So I think we're going to switch to that one, and then when I find a, um... 
Killed that bird. Killed that bird. Killed that bird. Killed that bird. Ha ha ha. And that bird too. You guys can stay away. This is my red rocket. I found it first. Faded Glory, the Walmart clothing brand. Yeah, it does sound like it, doesn't it? I'm surprised there's nothing here. I found a dead body, but... This is a place that usually spawns either um, dogs or um, super mutants. And nothing. Um, We are going to shut the door. There's lots of little goodies here, that's for sure. Wait, is that a weapons? It is a weapons workbench. We're gonna work on the gun. We're gonna work on the gun, guys. Okay, it's got a hardened receiver, but we're gonna switch it for a powerful receiver. And then we're gonna go with a long light barrel, which will um, give me, oh wait, 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 better recoil, but reduced hip fire accuracy. Mm, we'll leave the barrel as it is. We'll leave the stock. The scope's not bad, actually. So, oh, the only difference is I'm okay. Well, we were. Oh, it's now powerful, not hardened. I'm just looking to see what else we got. Get rid of that. Just getting rid of some stuff, just to see if I can what I'll get from it. Oh, we got an armor workbench? Th you know what? This would actually be a good place for a little mini settlement because I'm telling you, like, we've got two workbenches. Oh, 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 a weapon. Lots of spawnable goodies. Some money. I mean, this could very easily be turned into a small player home. I kid you guys not. It's not bad. We're gonna run- wait. Oh, that's just a piece of wood. Look, there's another lootable car right here. And we'd have access to water right here. Put up a water pump. I think there's water on this side, too. Oh, wait. That's the body. That's the body. It'd be funny if this was an Easter egg and her name is Jennifer and it's Jennifer's body. Uh -huh, like the movie. Yeah, there's water right here, too, so you could put, like, some water purifiers. Ooh, some Nuka-Cola. This would be a really good place for, like, a small player home. What's over here? What do we got? Oh, there's something over here. Um, this particular, um, mod that I'm going, um, the hell? Oh, there's a, um, something went running by. It sounded like a Yahoo, didn't it? Um, this, this house is usually boarded up, but the, um, mod that I'm using that opens it up is called the Beantown Interiors Project. And basically the mod author went through the game and and opened up a lot of the houses and made them like uh lootable there's a burnt book somewhere there it is like you can run through here and pick up you know and it's usually just little nipnoid items for the most part but um there's a couple of them that have like little mini you know stories told in them you know how like bethesda's really good about um as i call it atmospheric storytelling this is titter magazine oh. Okay, my goodness. Who needs a lover when you have a good magazine? That's a little too much. That's a little team too much. But anyway, um, yeah, this this it's from a mod. I don't wonder what was like freaking out. I don't see anything. But um, but yeah. Okay, Eric. Okay. 
anything in here? I don't see anything. Oh, that's a tiny little home, isn't it? Actually, that's a part of that house right there, I think. And they didn't go through every single house, but they opened up enough to really flesh out some of the areas better. Because Bethesda really did leave a lot of places uh, kind of bare bones. Now, some places they really flesh out, and in other areas they don't. The Collegiate Administrative Building. Let's see what we got over here. I don't think I'm going to go in today. Just browsing. Just seeing what's... Oh, hello. Oh, just some rat away. There's a door up there. I wonder how I get over there. Oh, there's something green over there. Hello. I'm not seeing anything. I hear the gunfire. Man, they are losing their minds over there. I don't... I'm just not in the mood to fool with dance and them right now. I'm just kind of exploring and seeing what kind of hijinks I can get up to. Just seeing. Just seeing what we can do. You know what's crazy is some of these houses are kind of cute. I would I would, per, per, would prefer them laid out just a little differently, but some of them are kind of cute. Just looking. Okay, that door is boarded up. I wonder if I can. I'm not going to worry about entering. Oh, hello. This is green. Fusion cell, giddy up buttercup, and a silver tablespoon. Alrighty then. I'm going to actually escape real quick just for a second. I want to tab out and say hello to, oh my goodness, I've got a lot of people in here today. All right, so I'm going to say hello to everyone again. OX2, another TV viewer. Bing Cortana, I think that's just a mod. Um, Delen, hello. Um, and then Eric and Robbie, of course. Kitten Rescue, that's a cool name. Do you rescue kittens? Um, Lurks, Rogue Girl, it's good to see all of you in here. Um, some of you guys, I, I remember you being in here last time. Also, I just, please guys don't judge me for this, but I literally just figured out how to access who all follows. So you'll probably notice, some of y'all probably noticed that I just started like, um, following you guys back and adding you as friends and whatnot, it's not because I was lazy. I literally just discovered how to do that because when I'm not streaming, I'm not on Twitch. Although, um, I do watch Twitch streamers. Um, and, um, I follow like, um, Tellius and Evatel, uh, Colin, who does a lot of, um, uh, Elden Ring, Lil Simsy, who's a huge Sim streamer. Um, uh, one of my favorite guys that I used to, used to follow a long time ago and, and still do follow, but, um, he doesn't stream anymore. His name was Seabro and he did like a lot of Mario Kart and stuff. Um, and I just started following this new guy and I can't remember off the top of my head what his name is, but if I had my tablet with me, I, cause it's literally still pulled up cause I, I watch his videos. He streams Fallout 4. And so I, I've been watching him and, uh, who else, who else, who else? Um, Asmund Gold, of course, uh, Mike from Preach Gaming, uh, Soul from Soul Breezy, uh, Mr. GM, Novel, Oxhorn, um, Epic Nate, like there's so many that I follow, uh, Chord VII, which is Chord 7, uh, Juice Head, uh, Tom from the Robots Radio Network, uh, Kennethy, um, aka Kenneth Vigu from Oh, and I just discovered, oh my God, I'm so, can I just say, if you guys see this, you guys made my day. It's such an honor. Um, 
uh, 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 the Chad of Fallout 76 podcast follows me, which I think is, they follow me both on Twitch and on Twitter. You guys have no idea. You, uh, you made my year when I saw that. Oh, also, if you guys need voice talent, I'd love to do some voiceovers. Um, this is not, this is my speaking voice, but it's not the only voice I'm capable of. I can go deep if I need to. Um, I can do a British accent if that's what you want to hear. Um, I can talk real country or real proper. Um, it just, if you guys need voice talent, let me know. I'd love to voice something for you guys. That would be a dream come true. Um, anyway, let me get back to my game. Oh, crap. And I, also, I forgot to, um, <laughs> I forgot to go back to my chat. Um, I was too busy just jibber jabbing. All right, so let's continue on an adventure. Nothing in there. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Wait. Oh, my sneak meter's pinging. I'm glad I didn't just run in here. I'm back. What you eating? What are you eating, Eric? Because I'm starving. I'm. Oh, let me turn off my my little light. <gasps> I see you. I see you down there. <gasps> Let me go ahead and kill this dude. I didn't see that coming, but... Really? Not the first hit. Seriously. Dude, just, 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 just go. <gasps> I think one of them hit one of the mines. Let's, let's blow this guy's head off. Yeah, I literally blew his head off. There goes somebody's head rolling down the hill. Oh my god, you guys. Now my sneak meter is still pinging, but not quite as actively as it was. Man, there are bodies everywhere. I only shot a handful of guys. Some of these must have already been um, in their eternal sleep. They've decided to lay down for an eternal nap. That's what I'm going to start calling it from now on. Because, you know, there are certain words that you can and cannot say. But you can say eternal nap. They went... Uh, sometimes I call it going night-night. So I guess I can say that too still. Oh, I thought I saw something moving. Oh, I was getting nervous. Oh, wait. That's his lower half. <gasps> There's just an arm. He's missing an arm and a head. And this one here, he's mostly intact. Alright, so... My sneak meter's pinging, so something else is out here, I'm thinking. Oh, I guess one of them walked out. Oh, there's part of a head. Oh, this is kind of like... It's kind of scary. Oh, wait, there's a body over here, too. There's bodies everywhere, and I didn't, I didn't unalive all of these guys, so some of them must have been laid down for nap time by someone or something else. Oh, there's a door here. Here we go. Union's Hope Cathedral. Let's unlock it. I knew I was going to get it one way or the other. Your body's because it's a symmetry. Yes! I'm in the dark, dark. There's a door there. Father Gabe. Who is this guy? Father Gabe. 
He's just pushing a broom. Let's let's do a headshot. I want to get the clothes, and I don't want blood on them, so I'll just get the headshot. That did it. Wait. Oh, there's a ghoul in here. Bye. Now, there's something else in here. I can't target anything, but my sneak meter is really going off. Let's see. What do we got in here? Silver plate. Pastor's vestments. He had a pipe sniper rifle and a shotgun. Jeez, Louise, dude. There's his head. I was trying to, like, turn it around so I could see what it looked like, but... Oh, he was a ghoul. <gasps> oh, poor thing. He was a ghoul with no nose. We'll loot this guy. And there's something else over here. Guys, my sneak meter is just a pinging away. But technically, it's still working. We're going to get this brain fungus, and then we're out of here. That's like five or six now um, locations we've been through. Now, small ones, small locations, but still. A win is a win. We'll take it. Um, I really want some junk food, and I've actually got a, not like a whole bag, but I've got a bag of, um, gummies, and then I've got a couple of, uh, Reese's Cups that I bought today. Um, they were marked down, discontinued items, and so I bought a couple. What do we got going on here? There is a car. Oh, it's got yum yum deviled eggs in it. In fun fact about me, uh, Boomer is famous for the deviled eggs he makes. I'm not joking. I make really good deviled eggs. I'm good at it. And it's one of the. I mean, I make a lot of good stuff. Like I make a mean pot roast. I do a good chicken and rice dish. But my deviled eggs are. Second to none. No one can touch me on my deviled eggs. What's funny is, um, oh, I see you. I'm going to shoot you. And now you're gone. And there's more of you, apparently. <gasps> Ooh! Come on, get above that. Yeah, get them off of that thing. You thought you was going to shoot that little whatever the heck it was you were shooting at me. I'm getting some crits, too. I'm fine with that. This gun, you guys. I like this. I like this gun. That's all of them. That's all she wrote, folks. Now we're just going to loot all the bloat flies that we shot. I'm just looking around now. And then we are going to... Let's go downstairs first in this garage and see if there's anything down here that needs a nap time. I hear something, but I'm not sure if it's a creature or if it's just the soundtrack. <gasps> oh, we've got a um, we got a little visitor. Wait, where's the other one? Oh, I see your wings.
No, I don't see nothing from you. How about them apples? Oh, wait, what is this? What is this? Oh my gosh, there's like one, two, three bodies. Raiders. Guys, I really need to empty my bags. I really do. Like, I got so much stuff. Yep, these are raiders. I need, I seriously need to find, that's a settler. Oh, poor thing. Here's that other um, bloat fly shot. It went way far back here. Um, but I need to find a merchant of some kind to sell my stuff to. I'm not going in here yet. This is the, um, the hospital. There's something close by. Yeah, this is the hospital. I'm not going to actually go in. I just wanted to make sure that I learned the location. Did I learn the location? I did. Kindle Hospital. Okay. I couldn't remember. We're going to loot this little bit of loot here. Nuclear material. That's that's going to be handy dandy doodle. And can I get through? Yeah, I can get through. <gasps> Oh, I see a bad guy. I see a bad guy. I see a bad guy. Oh, he went. He went. Bye bye. Wait, 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 wait. He'll come back. Wait, I see someone else. Yes. Gotcha. Where you be? Where you be? Trying to see if I can get... Aha! Oh, son of a biscuit! Oh, now there's two of them after me. Oh, just come on! See? That's on you. Where's the other guy at? Not seeing anybody, but oh wait, wait! I just saw. Ha ha! This fool gonna come at me with a pool stick. Are you kidding me? He came at me with a pool stick. That son of a gun! Poor thing. He showed up. It's like going to a gun sh a gunfight with a knife in your hand. That's a high-tech trash can. Let's take a second to look at it. Other than the fact that it's shaped like a rocket, that's not high-tech. High-tech would be like if it went around getting the garbage. This poor guy, he showed up to a gunfight with a pool cue. It's in here. Oh, there's a checkerboard. Little toy truck. Lounge chair. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Gamma rounds, which I don't have a gamma gun right now, but still, when I do get one, that'll come in handy. Wasn't there like a... Didn't this go back up? Didn't this continue going up? Oh, it did. Ha ha. Hee <laughs> hee. What do we got in here? Oh, there's a safe. Oh, and a box of goodies. Just mm, a little bit more? Nope. There we go. We got it. You got it. An auto pistol. I'm going to take all of it. I mean, there's no reason not to. see anything else up there but I just figured I'd look okay so now we hop back down here making sure there's nothing else in there as well um and then we just hop wait 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 I thought I saw something move 
I thought I saw something move. I guess not. Anyway, now we're going to come across here. And I remember there's still a unalived lady in that little bus, but there's some loot over here. I can see it glowing. Oh, that's a fusion core. Hello. Can I just say that of all the people that I watch on stream, if uh, all of a sudden Trixie Mattel decided to start playing Fallout, that would be my new... That would be my new obsession. Yeah, my sneak meter's pinging. I don't know what I'm close to that's making it do that. But... over here. I'm just, I'm um, exploring. I mean, I'm not seeing anything. Wait. What is that? Oh, that's, um, isn't that the Kindle place? We're not gonna go down there. We're not going that way. We're gonna go this way. We're going to continue on our adventure. There's nothing in here, right? Yeah, nothing in here. Oh, hello. I'm just looking around. This would be a good place for like mod content right here. You could go into these buildings. That door is boarded up, I think, but this looks like it's lootable. Something, anyway. I like mod content, guys. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, I only play vanilla playthroughs because mods break the game. Actually, no. Uh, wait. There's nothing to be seen here, but there's lights. Maybe there's something through here. Mods don't break your game, guys. Mods don't cause your game to crash. Oh, wait, there's something. Oh, I know where I'm at. Kind of, sort of. Okay, there's nothing here. Mods do not break your game. They don't. 100%. They do not. I can say that with 100% conviction. Mods don't break your game. Uh, Bethesda's engine for Fallout 4 is a, a better engine than um, Skyrim's original engine. Wait. Wait, what is that? It's a hand sticking out of the ground. There's a set over there. Let's pull him out. Can you? He's basically giving birth to himself. That was creepy. And now he's in his dirty underwear. What am I hearing? I heard something. Another settler with another note. I heard something. It sounded like a growl. hearing I know I heard something but I don't know what it was 
anyway, uh, what I was going to say is, um, the, um, the engine is already, I don't say crap engine because it, you know, it's, it's capable of, hello, of this game being, you know, pretty awesome, but, um, there are a lot of, um, open, there's, there's, there's room for script errors. Ooh, a new, uh, sci-fi card. Yes! Android Factory. Cool, I'll take it. But, um, there's a lot of room for scripting er errors, and anytime you cause the game to script, um, multiple scripts at the same time, that's what destabilizes the game. You can destabilize and break your game without mods entirely. All you've got to do is through either dynamic or random encounters or just from sheer luck um, have several different scripted things happen at once, the game's gonna crash. There's no... Oh, what is that? <gasps> Oh, shucks. Shucksy darns. Oh, wait. There's more of them. Oh, hello. Didn't I just pick a thing that said I'm no longer going to set off enemy mines? Why am I still setting off enemy mines? Oh, I see you. There's lots of bodies here, but there are a lot of landmines as well, so that's probably why. This is nuts. I'm gonna come back in a second and kill those guys. I just wanna loot these settlers. I didn't see that one. I'm not hiding from you, dude. I'm hunting. Bye! Go night-night. She lost her head. She just lost her head. Didn't even know what she was doing. Oh, I saw you. Hmm. Are you kidding me, dude? Calm down. It's not that serious. Well, maybe for you it is, but not for me. He dropped his gun. Shoot. There you go. He's going to die. Well, maybe not. Maybe so. My sneak meter's still pinging. Can you guys believe this? There's nothing else here that's hostile, and I'm still dealing with my sneak meter pinging. I'm not worried about the um, the, the uh, terminal, because it's just turret control here, which I've already killed and looted, so no biggie. All right, all right. Now we just gotta loot everything we killed. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Box. Oh. Cap sash. These cap sashes kind of pitiful. 
Weren't they? I thought there was a guy down here that I ended his uh, preoccup preoccupation with living. Jump the. Can you go in there? Stalker's double barrel shotgun. What does that do? If wait, if you're not yet in combat, increases VAT's accuracy but costs more AP. Well, we're in God mode, so that's just gonna make me OP. It's an ugly gun too. I don't like shotguns like that. Oh, I prefer a combat shotgun. These are the little places, I'm not joking, like, these are the little, the little places that, um, I would love that, like, you could take over as a settlement and then clean this place out and then build it back up, like, take the bricks that are on the ground and rebuild that brick building and then gather all the wood scraps that you can and rebuild this house and, like, you could make it livable for settlers. That'd be kind of fun. And I, I, I doubt it would be this location, but I know there are certain... Um, well-known locations in this game that um, Sim Settlements kind of does that with. Let me see what's back here. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. You never know. <gasps> Excuse me. You never know. Oh, there's a cooking thing. I wonder if I can use it without burning up. We're gonna make some purified water. Oh, I leveled up! I'm not mad about it. Oh, let's definitely make some baked float fly. A death claw steak. Oh! Speaking of death claw, something about heat detection lines. Okay, I'm sorry, that was a bad one. Love you, Boomer. Don't hate me. I thought ground me your finger. <laughs> You're so silly. Um, speaking of Death Claw, so earlier today I was playing on my personal save on Fallout 4. Um, it, 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 it's the craziest thing. He's like two days old, and I used to start me up, so I'm like level 26, I think. But um, my character's name is Kid Hero. Um, I just I, I'm, I can't keep coming up with names for characters. It's killing me. But anyway, so um, one of the things I'm doing is actually I'm kind of bypassing the opening quest line by going to other places and unlocking settlements and personally building them up because I love building. Um, but I went to uh, Sunshine Tidings Co-op, right? And I had literally um, killed every um, thing in each one of the little mini houses that are up the little cabins. And I was just about to leave the final cabin, which is decked out like a... Um, like a doctor's office, basically, and go into the little the little communal uh, mess hall where there's like two or three um, um, ghouls in there. And right as I went to walk out, I heard this kind of stompy sound. So I stopped and I and I was like, "What in the world?" So I went around the building, and coming up was a death claw. And I'm only level 25, 26. So I ducked back into the um, the cabin. By then, it done seen me, and so I had to like be quick and snipe it right and 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 kill it and so my last shot literally caused it to just basically explode into bits which is another odd occurrence as it is right so i went over there and looted it no big deal and killed the, the ghouls in the building and i oh, excuse me before before i started um building there i wanted to run around just the area and make sure there was nothing else that was going to come up less than a minute later coming up the same path as the first one was a second death claw, my hand to God. And so I killed it. It got kind of close that time because I wasn't in cover, but I killed it. No big deal. How about it dropped the same exact loot as the first one? I was like, I literally just experienced my first in Fallout 4 glitch in the Matrix. I was like, 
there's no way I could replicate that. It was so crazy. And I wish I'd had my overplayed app running because it would have caught it. Oh god, there's a lot of these. They were just gonna make some uh, grilled rad roach. Iguana on a stick. Meyer Lurk cakes. Hmm. Egg omelet. Yeah, I have 17 of these, so I'll just use that for that one. Mole rat chunks. What else do we have? Mutt chops. I really wish that um, they did. Um, the thing where like in Fallout 76 where when you go to make something you can pick however many of you make that way it takes less time to do all your cooking it does 40 I'll make that and then I'll go back up and I'll make the roasted Marlark meat no wait no 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 what was the other thing I could make Marlark cake Actually, it, it that's less money, so I guess I'll make the other thing. And that's everything that I can make as far as, um... Actually, I think that's everything I can make. Molten lava ice cream batter? What? It's kind of cool. I can make a dirty wastelander, which... No. I'm not gonna make that and that's it that's all I can make this giant giant pile of burning awful for this one little cooking station that's a bit overkill but that's very that's Raiders that's Raiders for you it's icy hot yeah it is you want to know something interesting about me I can't use icy hot um, I'm allergic to um, menthol um, it literally blisters my skin. I can't use Noxema. I can't use Icy Hot. I can't use um, Vix Vapor Rub. I can't. Um, what's weird is like I can um, I can chew uh, minty gum, but only for literally a couple of minutes before it starts making my my uh, my mouth hurt. Actually, I'm just I can't be around anything that's got menthol in it. I'm allergic to it. I'm sure it's like a mild allergy. I don't think, well, I say it's a mild allergy. Joseph once uh, went to put some, um, I believe it was Icy Hot or Ben Gay, one of those, on me one time. And I I, I ended up having to go uh, wash it off because it was literally burning and blistering my skin. I mean, the second that stuff touched my skin... I couldn't deal with it. it. There was no cold to it at all. It was just like my back was on fire. I cannot mess with that. So I actually keep, it's in the bathroom now because I straightened up in here, um, a, a thing of the Asper cream with lidocaine. I can use that because there's no menthol in it. And also it's unscented so I don't smell like a medicine cabinet. Honestly though, I don't care about smelling like a medicine cabinet as long as it doesn't burn my skin off. I remember when I was like 14, I tried to use Noxema and it was like I was trying to give myself a chemical pill. I couldn't, and, and I thought it was normal to burn like that. And when I took, when I went, when I washed it off, it was only on my face for maybe two, three minutes. But when I took it off my, it was like a, it was like I was wearing a mask of red that was painted onto my skin. I do have slightly sensitive skin anyway. After I um, shower, you can ask Joseph, he's seen it happen. I can put um, lotion on my skin and just lotion, unscented, just just lotion, moisturizing aloe lotion. I can put it on my face and my my face will turn bright red for a couple of minutes. I have very sensitive skin. The rest of my body, not so much, but the skin on my face is very sensitive. Let's see what kind of goodies we got. I'm really just looking for like um, adhesive. And I think I actually need to, uh, military grade circuit board. That's, that's about the only thing that's really worth anything in there. I really need to find a vendor. This is starting to bug me. Really need a vendor. I think there's somebody over here. 
I could be wrong, but I think there's a guy right here. Yep, I'm wrong. I thought there was a guy over here somewhere. Maybe it's... Okay, that's where I just came from in there. Oh, wait. What do we got in here, guys? This is one of those um, houses that's been opened up by the Beantown and Tears project. And I don't know... I haven't been to all of them. Oh, wait, there's some stuff on the wall here. I haven't been to all of them, so I don't know everything. I don't know every building that's been opened up. I don't know every room or nook and cranny. So they always kind of catch me off guard. Whoever it was that lived in this house had a baby. The bird outside that uh, yeah, I don't think it picked up on camera. I mean, on camera, on uh, on the mic. But uh, there's a bird that just chirped outside, and it actually startled me. Wait, what is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, that's just a light. I saw something red shining through the hole in the wall. It's like, oh, is it another bunker? Nope, it's not another bunker. I'm just seeing things that I want to see. Wait, what was that? Oh, great tortoise. Oh, 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 what's in here? <gasps> Wonder glue, Abraxo, turpentine, and duct tape. I'll take that. I'll take all of it. Just looking. Just making sure. Mm, what are we coming up? I think there's a church. I think I'm coming up on a church. What am I coming up on? There's a a ladder of some kind. <gasps> Don't tell me we got a peeping Tom right here. Someone was peeking in the windows. That's just creepy. My stink meter is really pinging, you guys. Oh, wait. We got a door here. It's locked. Maybe we'll find some goodies in here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. We found a little. Well, we found a little bit. I'm not gonna be ungrateful. Oh, hello, gas can. Oh, I can actually take things through the window. Hello. I mean, my sneak meter is really pinging, but I don't see anything. Go in here. Oh, this house is set up a little differently. Hello. Got some light bulbs, a clothing urn, some books, an adjustable wrench. A spine. Yeah, because those just, you can just find a spine laying down on the ground. What in the world? What did it? I think my character tried to sit in that chair. I'm not concerned. I'm not interested, but I'm not concerned. Ooh, there's a salt and pepper shaker. I'm squatted down. I just realized that it looks like I'm really short in this game. I'm not. I'm. I'm in sneak mode, so I'm trying not to be seen. Wherever I lived in this house was all about their alcohol, that's for sure. There's a lot of bottles. They had a G.I. Joe. It's kind of cool. Oh, they had a wall safe behind 
That's kind of cool. They put the wall safe behind the, the uh, bookcase. There goes that little bar on the, on the back of my desk trying to act stupid. Sweet. Oh, another sci-fi card. Hello. That's kind of cool. Oh, gray heavens. That's it for in here, I'm assuming. Double check anything on the walls I hadn't grabbed. Nope, that's it. I'm just literally sneaking around, seeing what's what, what we got going. <gasps> oh dear. I came right up on some, some raiders. Poor thing, they were just trying to have dinner and I came along and ruined it. And then I stole their clothes. I'm just the worst, aren't I? Let's see what's up here. I'm trying to see what's up here. I'm trying to see what's going on, you guys. <gasps> That's a ghoul. You know what, I'm gonna hop over here on this side so I can get a better shot in case there's more. Poor thing. He just had the worst end to his day. Oh wait, there's more. Is that the last of them? I think that might be the last of them. Nope, there's one more. Oh, I see a rad stag. Let's go and take out the rad stag too while we're at it. Oh! I hate when it takes more than one bullet because I feel like they're suffering. Okay, so according to this, it's like, whatever it is, it's in this gentral area. Although, I'm not um, seeing it. Oh, hello, I can drop down here. Ooh, hello. I'm still not seeing it. <gasps> Wait, who is that? The scribe. Oh, I want to talk to him. He sells, um, I'm hoping that, um, do lolly head doesn't attack me. See the outfit he's wearing? I want to buy Excuse it. Me. Good day to you, stranger. You look like someone that appreciates the utility of a good set of arms. I am actually. You just wander around selling armor to random people? You just wander around selling armor to random people? Traveling's a good way to meet new people, as well as finding the lost, the broken, and the unusual. I'm all three. I'm tired of traveling. I settle down again for a while. But I'm in a wandering phase at the moment. So I wonder if he's recruitable. Sure, I'm always looking for good armor. Sure, I'm always looking for good armor. My selection is a bit limited right now, but take a look. It's not that limited, and he's got some caps to go. All right, let's go. Okay, he's got the field scribe, scribe's armor, which that's actually not the armor I wanted. I'll take the shadowed leather left arm. That's all he's got? Well... We're going to sell some stuff to him. Okay. We're going to get rid of the baseball bat, pipe rifle, all four boards that I have. I try to get rid of all the pipe stuff. That has, oh, it's automatic. That's why it has a fire rate of 127.
I'm going to keep the hunting rifles because I'm going to turn them into like good rifles and give them to my settlers. Hmm. I mean, I'm selling him like a crap ton of, of ordnance and I'm making almost nothing off of it. It's ridiculous. I'm going to keep that. That's the one I was using. No, is, that's not the one I was using, is it? It might be. No, that's the one I was using. Yeah, I hate the double barrel shotguns. Um. I'm just getting rid of like all the pipe rifles and the bolt action rifles because they're not. They're not worth it, in my opinion. So I'll be making a little bit more money. Now we're going to sell some uh, apparel. I don't know what that's about, but let me get rid of these. The athletic outfit, the baseball uniform, I'm getting rid of that, the batting helmet. The black rim glasses I'm going to keep. The blue dress can go. Casual outfit, checkered shirt and jeans. Chef hat, I'm going to keep that for now, and I'm going to get rid of all the clean suits, because this is the wasteland. These guys don't need to be running around in clean suits. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the DC guard stuff, the denim stuff. Hmm. I always get rid of like all the raider stuff as well because I'm not interested. And I'm not a fan of the metal armor. I really am not. I actually prefer either the leather or the combat armor and that's it. Get rid of all this raider crap. And all this metal stuff. Like I said, if it's not combat armor or leather, I get rid of it. I just don't like it. And that's just my own personal opinion. Some people like it. Some people prefer the metal. I don't like the robot armor either. I'm actually going to keep the patched version of that. Jeez, Louise, all this raider crap. Mm, I'm going to keep the red dress because I might put it on uh, a performer once I build up something nice. Well, that's not what I meant to do, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it anyway. I'm going to keep those heavy gauntlets because once I get strong, strong, strong is just about the only companion I will go out with. Um, I do like taking strong with me. I will take him and who else? Porter Gage. I'll take him, but only until I finish Nuka World and, and I always decide to destroy Nuka World, basically. Not destroy Nuka World, but the the Raiders. I don't, I don't let them take over the Commonwealth. I'm trying to see what else. Oh, the unarmored jumpsuit. Actually, the undershirt and jeans I can get rid of. The Ashanka hat. That Wasteland Militia outfit's actually not bad. I kind of like it. And I like the wraparound goggles. And the rest of this is, uh, making, yeah, I got some mods to get rid of. 
and that's it. So I just made 3,500. I almost said gold. I wonder if I can pickpocket him. Just, just out of curiosity, I'm trying to see what the... No chance to steal. No chance to steal. Alright, so we're gonna, um... Hop back up here where I killed that, um... Those ghouls and the, uh... Radstag. Why did that Radstag have a bottle cap on? Oh! Something saw me. Come on. There you are. Hi! I want you to be friends with my bullets! Alright, now my stink meter's not pinging anymore. So I can stand up and run around at full speed! Full speed ahead. Oh, a box. Hello, Mr. Box. What you got? I don't understand what's going on here with these fridges turned like this. I really don't. It makes no sense. Sometimes I can't put the story together that Bethesda's trying to tell with their, their atmospheric clues. I, I really have no idea. There is a door here, though. <gasps> oh, crap -o. Hey, I guess he had no comment. Okay. What's this? Grandma Flora's house. Let's go see what Grandma Flora's got going on, guys. Oh, be friends with my bullets. I hope you know I'll be corny. <laughs> I'm so glad you could enjoy that. There's a dead body on the floor. And a feather duster. And I knocked down the coat rack, guys. I feel bad. I messed up Grandma's house. <gasps> There's a uh, radio going. Oh, I gotta find it. I gotta find the radio because I gotta turn it off. I gotta turn it off and I gotta speak over it until I find it. There we go. Okay, we're gonna come back. There's a bo some bottle caps on that um, dead ghoul and a dead rat roach apparently as well. And since nothing's alive in here, I can go ahead and... I guess that's one way of watering your plant. You just dunk the whole thing in the toilet. Anything in the... No, there's nothing in there. She's growing glowing fungus in the bathtub. Oh, hello. Let's see. Where's Grandma Flora? She got her bathrobe, her comfy pillow, and a 10 mil under the pillow. Grandma rolls hard, y'all. Got her cap stash. Now she had, I got more caps off grandma than any other cap stash to date. <gasps> Wait, is that grandma? That's grandma, guys. Grandma was sitting there, hopped up on, what is that? Psycho! And Jet on the other side had a freaking combat shotgun and was shooting the ghouls. I guess she was calling them with the sound of the radio. Y'all, Grandma did roll hard. It's a cute little house she lives in. All these shotgun shells. She was not... She was like, You're not taking me! Grandma rolled too hard. She said, I survived the depression, menopause, and the bombs falling. You're not getting me, Mr. Goal. What's bad is that Goal was probably one of her neighbors. That's what's bad. 1904. She, the bombs dropped in 2077. 
and she was born in 1904. Is that how that works? So she... Wait, let's do the math. Hey, Pink. How are you doing, sweetie? We're going to do the math. I don't think I don't think that's right. Calculator. Okay, we're going to um the bombs dropped in 2077. October 23rd, 2077 minus 1904. There's no way that woman was 173 years old. There's no way. Okay, let me double check that. Wait, wait, wait. In Fallout 4, when did the bombs drop? October 23rd. According to Fallout 76 Bethesda, veteran Fallout fans are familiar with October 23rd, aka Bombs Drop Day, the moment in the series universe when the old world ended in atomic flame and gave birth to the post-nuclear wasteland they know today. Yes, but what year? I want to make sure I'm right with the 2077. In Fallout 4, what year did the bombs drop? October 23rd, 2077. I had it right. Fallout Wiki, fandom. I had it right. I had it right. So there's no way that woman was uh, 173 years old. There's no way. There's no way. I mean, unless she was a non-feral ghoul, which that's the thing, like, she wouldn't have to kill other ghouls because feral ghouls will not attack. They won't attack non-feral ghouls. They'll just ignore them. Like, if she was a ghoul, she would have been totally safe. Even if she'd have made a bunch of noise. Even if she was attacking another ghoul, they won't attack her because they recognize her as one of their own. I, I, the, the, the time's not adding up. There's no way she was a 173-year-old human being. Just woke up from his nap. Oh. Guys are always at their cutest when they're first waking up. That's that to me. That's when a guy is at his most adorable is when he's first waking up. All right, so we're gonna see. There's another door right here. What door does this go to? Art studio. Okay, I I don't know this one. And my sneak meter's pinging a little bit. So we're gonna go into the art studio and see what's up. One of our cats was needy and woke him up. Something. I hear a... There's a gun. Oh, a nice, a nice little combat rifle. Whoever was uh, in this art studio when whatever happened, happened. They were packing... Combat rifle, rounds of ammo, hello. Oh, I hear. I hear ghouls, I hear ghouls, I hear ghouls. I can't see anything though, that's the problem. You know what I'd like to do, actually, is, let me pause this for a second. I would love to, to know how to use the creation kit to create mods. I'd love to take some of my favorite mods with mod author permissions, you know, with their, with their blessing. I'd love to take some of my favorite mods, like a collection of about maybe 10 or 15 mods that I use on every playthrough and combine them into one cohesive overhaul for the game and add nuggets of lore and whatnot to, so they actually all tie together cohesively. And I'd love, um, I'd love to do something like that. I, I wish I could figure out how to use the creation kit. That's not what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That would make my day. I, I've been thinking about watching some tutorials on YouTube. Uh-oh. Oh, he's a legendary ghoul. Well, not anymore, he ain't. 
Oh, there's more. Guys. Seriously, there's no need for this. There's no call for this. Just be friends with my bullets. This place is kind of cool. Okay, so I can't go up any further, so... You know, oh, what did I just hit? I didn't hit anything. Somebody is roaming around in here. Okay, these doors are all locked, so if there's anything in there, they can't get out. Actually, they can because they busted through the wall here. Nothing in that one, nothing in that one. Oh, ink pens. I guess that makes sense if you're in an art studio. Camera, paint, empty paint can. The lighting in here is kind of creepy but cool. So I guess I can go ahead and unlock that door since there's nothing in there. Come on. There we go. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. What's with the uh, little numbers? I feel like I'm in a booby trap room. I really do. I, I don't like booby trap rooms. I don't mind puzzle rooms, but booby trap rooms? That's something else entirely. Just looking around before I decide to continue on my quest to go, I guess, up. Dead lady there. Oh, oh, oh. What's he got? Incendiary pipe pistol. What's that do? Sets target on fire for 15 points of damage. I will be turning that into a rifle and giving it to a companion or a, a, um, settler. I can't. Words are hard, guys. And who are you to judge me? Oh my god. Oh, I see you. I almost didn't. You can't see him in the dark. I know something happened because I saw blood. And why am I still showing as detected? Nothing. Nothing. I don't know what these things are. Are they like pressure plates? Like, I don't know what I'm looking at. He had a subway token on him. Oh, I get it. You know what? I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. This is pottery. And these are like the little the little loom things. And there, there's the stools where they sit. Okay. I'm putting it together. I love that. I love looking around and putting together what everything means and how it all works together. I do. I love that. That is so fun for me. All right. So, um, wait, wait, wait. Something's detecting me. Something was detecting me for a second there. I'm looking to see if there's anything in the desks. There's lots of bodies in here, actually. These people knew the bombs were dropping and they decided not to Wait, 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 wait. Okay. All right, so what goes in this door? Nothing, apparently, because I can't get the door to unlock. Good. Anything in here? So far, no, just goodies. Another fusion core. I'll take that, dude. Okay, let's go back downstairs into the creepy area. I mean, this place is creepy. So there's something through here, but the door's chained. Oh, you know what? I had to, I had, wait. Okay, I had to drop through from above. Wait, okay, that's the door out. What door is this? That's another door out. 
Okay, so yeah, I had to go up here and drop through that hole in the floor. Ah, sorry, my head agitated. Was it through here? No, it was on the other side. It was this hole right here. <gasps> I see you. Gotcha. See you too. <gasps> oh, wait, he's a little stronger. I don't understand what a Reaver was in real life, but my assumption is um, because they are wearing armor, they were either A, a raider, or B, military before they turned into ghouls and went feral. That's my personal headcanon, like what a Reaver actually is. I need to look that up. You know what? I, I know... Some of the more basic lore of Fallout. You guys know I'm a big Fallout fan. Um, but yeah. Oh, what do we got here? A lucky metal right arm. Plus two luck. Hmm. You know, there is a mod, and I I probably need to install it and use it just to see how it works. And that's really what my my whole channel is going to turn into probably is just me trying out different mods for you guys but um there's a mod where you can actually craft your own legendaries if i'm not mistaken but i think the way it works is and it's a newer mod because i remember juice head um talking about it in one of his channels but basically what it is is you take a mo uh, um a uh, legendary that you get and you scrap it and you get the the legendary affix if i'm not mistaken and a, like a, as a module or something, and then you can add it to a regular item to turn it into a legendary. I think that's how it works. I'll have to look it up and find out. But if I'm not mistaken, there's a way of making one, two, and three star legendaries. It's basically kind of like a, a hybrid between Fallout 4's legendaries and Fallout 76's legendaries. You'd be surprised how many people are taking Fallout 76 content or features and putting it in Fallout 4. I mean, it's it's really, it's a thriving situation. Oh, wait, I didn't actually loot it. All right, and so, oh, wait, wait, what is this? Oh, we got a diary. We got to listen to this. We went through this whole thing. We got to listen to this. That's probably who the Reaver was. Apparently he had nothing to say. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna look at that and see, cause it's not, find Benny's diary. Nothing. Apparently his diary was blank. All right, so we're gonna go back out the way we came. This is the way we came, I think. And I'm trying to see if uh, we have time for just a little bit more exploring. We might if the load screen will actually go past the load screen. I might, I might do that while I'm on my vacation, guys. Obviously, I'm going to game like crazy. Doy, we all know that. This is not the door I came out. Or went in, excuse me. Oh, what's through here? Oh, I know what's through here. I'm not going there right now. That's that's too much work. Um, but these are the, the guys I was shooting at earlier. They killed this uh, gunner. There's a gunner's note. And I'm kind of scared to even read the gunner's note because the last note that we tried to read basically froze up the game for about 10, 15 seconds. And I was thinking I was going to have to kill the stream. Uh, wait, wait, before we do it, let's, um, let's save real quick. Oh, it saved like two seconds ago, but we'll just override them anyway. Okay. 
So well, let's read the gunner's note and see what's going on. Where is it at? There it is. I got the intel. The gang at Monsignor Plaza looks tough, but their leader has the gun. A laser, just like the contact said. The right squad of men could take it. Hmm. So, it's one of those, like, radiant quests that you can just find a note and you basically you get a, um... Matter of fact, let's, um... It's in the miscellaneous tab. Let's see what we've got. We've got find the laser in Monsignor Plaza, surf, search for caps in Beantown Brewery, and I'm not worried about Vault 81. I'm really not. And uh, taking independence, we're not worried about that one either. I'm actually not far from Monsignor Plaza. I'm actually not far. It's right over there. Okay, guys. Um... I think this that this might actually be where we're gonna le wait. Shucks, shucksy darns, who balls? And I'm gonna get attacked. There you go. What? No, uh, let's uh, let's blow his arm off. I literally blew his arm off. Ooh. This poor guy. Why is there always one guy that wants to come at me with a pool cue? And I've got a, a rifle. That makes no sense. And he flung that bad boy. Flung it. And there is the, the pool cue. Okay, we just discovered Monsignor Plaza. Oh, well, that thing is actually shooting at me, but not for long. Um, so now my sneak meter is pingish, like it's a little pingy, but not bad. All right, so I'm going to loot these bad boys and then probably call the stream because I can smell the food. And it's killing me, plus uh, we're, we're hitting the two and a half hour mark. And I really um, need to spend a little bit of time with him before I have to go to bed. Because it's like 4.30 and I have to be in bed by 6-ish. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh, actually, no, I can stay up and watch an extra hour of TV. They're doing our floors tonight at, the, at my business, so I actually have to go in an hour later. So that means that I will not be leaving work until one o'clock tomorrow. So tomorrow will be another frenetic, like I gotta get done, I gotta get done date. Um, we'll see what happens. Is that thunder? It's supposed to rain about seven o'clock, which is in just a couple of hours. I think that's what it said. Anyway, um, so we're just, we're just gonna park ourselves in front of the door for now, and I don't know why I'm still in sneak mode. Um, but yeah, we're gonna park ourselves right here for now, um, and save, since I just killed those guys. I know I just saved, but I'm gonna save again, so there. But, um, that's where we're gonna leave it for now, guys. Oh, goodness. My, uh, my behind is very bony, and this chair is killing me. I gotta get a new chair, guys. I'm in a, I don't know if you can see this, I'm in a, just a regular computer chair and it's it's not super super old but this is the first time I've ever had one where the the pleather stuff has already started cracking it's been maybe a year or two old but usually when I buy a chair it lasts at least a good four or five years at least um thanks it was a great enjoy enjoy your pork and beans <laughs> that's funny it is pork and beans isn't it oh that's funny um, and, and yeah, uh, thank you so much to Lynn and don't be a stranger. Hop in. Um, I stream every, um, I stream five days a week. Um, the only days I don't stream are, um, uh, Mondays and Thursdays. Is that right? Mondays and Thursdays. I stream. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know my own stream schedule. <laughs> I don't know my own stream schedule. My brain is fried. I'm having a stroke. Um, yeah, I don't stream on Mondays and Thursdays. Um, although that may be changing. 
I'm not 100% sure. I still haven't made up my mind about that. But I stream ESO on Tuesdays, World of Warcraft on Wednesdays, Fallout Fridays, and then Skyrim Saturdays and Sundays. So, yeah. Yeah, that's my whole stream schedule. So, um, hop in. Um, and, and if you're not a fan of those games or you've just never played them, you might just want to hop in and see how they work. And, and maybe you might decide, hey, I really like this game. I'll pick it up and start playing it myself. Um, and sometimes I play Fallout 76, although I don't, I don't, I play on a private server, but, um, when it, when it comes to my, uh, my social MMO fix, uh, that's what my ESO and my World of Warcraft is for. So if you play any of those games and you're looking for a great guild, we're always recruiting. Um, also if you ever have any like thoughts for other games, you might want to see me try out, leave a comment in the box below on Twitch. Um, or on one of my videos on YouTube, which I have linked also. I have my my, um, my YouTube, my Facebook, and my Twitter linked on Twitch here. So, oh, ESO is your thing? Um, are you one of my guildies, or you just play ESO and you, you just discovered me through that? Um, I do stream that. I'm streaming the Dark Heart of Skyrim right now because I've never played that content before. Um, on a brand new character who is like level 10 or 11. Maybe higher, but I think it's either 10 or 11. Um, but yeah, it's always awesome to see new people in chat. And, and don't be don't be afraid to like holler something at me in chat. Because Eric and, and Robbie, otherwise, otherwise known as Fang9299, they are always keeping things going. Um, yeah, I knew you would be here, Eric. Nope, not in your guild. Um, if you're looking for an ESO guild, I'm in four different ones. Um, I tend to uh, uh, gravitate more, more ugh, I'm telling you, I can't get my words out. I tend to gravitate more towards LGBT friendly guilds, but they are not necessarily just LGBT guilds, they're just friendly. They're like LGBT adjacent, if that makes sense. Um, I am in one that is a predominantly you know, gay guild, but I, I'm in other guilds that's all about just like progression and crafting and helping people out. I don't know, my old timer friends are coming by. We're going to dinner. Are you going to Denny's for the six o'clock special? <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you asked for that. You're always picking on me about my age. So that was my turn. As soon as you said old timer friends, that's it. Game over. Game, set, match. Um, but yeah, Delan, um, and even if you're not looking for a guild, uh, always feel free to hop in here and hang out. Um, tomorrow we're, we're playing Skyrim. It's so weird that um, I'm playing Skyrim Anniversary Edition, and then on ESO, I'm also in Skyrim. So it's kind of a it's kind of a disconnect because I'll be, um, I'll look up for you on Tuesday then. Absolutely. And I mean, just whatever day, I'm just happy to have new friends. I always look at new people hopping in my stream as new best friends. Like, seriously, I love hanging out with you guys. Um, <laughs> Eric is talking about rude. <laughs> like, you're one to talk. <laughs> it was so nice to meet you, Dylan. I think I sent you a friend request on here. Um, yeah, 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 I did. Um, and welcome to the stream. I'm, like I said, I'm always happy to uh, meet new people. I just moved to the other monitor. That's why you saw me gravitate. Um, I really, um, have so much fun. <laughs> You're a favorite to me. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> See, you know what? I had to start keeping the receipts whenever you and I are talking to Discord so I can put you on blast. <sighs> but yeah, Dylan, it was so nice to meet you. Um, and feel free to hang out whatever day, even if it's just Tuesday or whatever day. I'm always happy to have you guys hang out with me and keep me company. And I hope I was... As funny as I tried to be, you don't, you won't remember to keep receipts. Yeah, I'm too old to remember, Eric. Okay, um, so you guys, he gives me so much crap. I make one comment and then he just starts attacking. Ah. Um, uh, Robbie, thanks for hanging out as well. Uh, tell Pink and Paul, um, I will see them in game, and um, as soon as they hop in, well, hint, hint, just saying, hint, hint. Um, Twitch is getting rid of friends. Oh, are you serious? Are they really? I had no idea. Now, see, actually, you know what's funny is there's so many new people that are starting out on Twitch, but it seems like all the people who have been on Twitch forever are migrating to YouTube streaming. So that's kind of something I've been thinking of. 
Um, I'd have to see how to link it to my Twitch. Because see, right now I'm not affiliate. So as long as I'm not affiliate, I can stream to whatever service I want. But I believe once you become affiliate, you can't restream anywhere else. I believe that's how that works. You can upload videos of your streams, but you can't stream live to other platforms. I believe that's how that works. So I may be switching to YouTube. I already um, upload all my streams to YouTube anyway. So if I could just um, start streaming and putting my videos on YouTube, that'd probably be killing two birds with one stone. So, I mean, I got to look into that and see what's what what's what with that. Um, I'm, in, I'm part of the Robots Radio Network, and the guy that runs that whole network and has so many different podcasts in it, Tom, who is awesome. Tom, I love you. And thank you for the shirt. I love the shirt. Um, uh, he already streams on um, YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. He also streams on Twitch, but I think he's been segueing. He actually gave up his affiliate status so he would be able to restream on multiple platforms. So I got to get with him and figure out um, what works best for him, like what he would recommend, and then um, we'll go from there. But as of right now, I'm having so much fun on Twitch with you guys. So um, y'all have a wonderful night. And just remember my motto, um, be safe, be blessed, and happy